this is one uh, impress u hostel so when last year last to last year i bought one impress u hostel in a pot from a nursery um, and i tried to divide i was able to divide into three three big big uh, plant so one plant i planted here so two on uh, both side of my west side said garden two i have planted there and the third one i planted here so this year i saw the leaves a little late so i was a little sad that oh maybe it died but when i saw the leaves i was very happy that okay it survived because um, thinking that it may need a lot of space i have left all this space and uh, because uh, after maybe five years they say not suddenly but it takes five seven years for them to come to their maximum size of height i mean maybe the first two three years they are not 72 inches in height uh, but after five seven years they reach 72 inches height and they are very big big leaf and big lump clump so it that's why i am not uh, planting anything uh, close to that host i mean and this is one uh, oriental trumpet uh, lily one day i think last week i planted and see how it is growing it looks very tall yeah someone was walking by nearby and talking so i thought if uh, her voice will be recorded um, they may complain <laughs> so i stopped um so coming back to my that um, oriental trumpet lily um, which is again under this tree so um, that is that impress uhosta that is that um, phlox and that is um, one uh, tete the small height um, daffodil next to that is a crocus the crocus is i planted um, i think four years ago and then uh, that is impress u so next to the crocus here i had planted Mm, few hosta which i transplanted i think five years ago these hosta are in front of my house next to the um, to spiria uh, it was already in the property when we moved in so um, i want i did not like the hosta that kind of hosta there i wanted little more variegated more beautiful hosta in that place so i removed the whole hosta there were two clumps in, in front of my house and i transplanted them into most of them uh, kind of in five uh, places around under my other side big tree and one uh, few i mean few i transplanted here but in the past five years four or five years um, they multiplied a lot and as i said because it is too close and somehow lot of uh, stone and uh, somehow the um, spot is maybe not very good for that so they don't grow very well i mean they don't grow as they are supposed to but each year they come out from the ground so that's why i can show you these are the leaves if you see like this see this is the leaves this is the leaves and then this is one asiatic lily last year i planted this is that my prime rose few times maybe i report um, wrongly as um, african violet i'm sorry about that it is prime rose <laughs> or prime rose so this is last year i planted one asiatic lily and here this one is one veronica pink potion veronica so so far under this uh, these many plants are there under this tree though i have planted many more variety of uh, hosta and few uh, the siberian iris but um, uh, the uh, the rest ho rest of the host has are dead and that is one of my bird house i uh, hanged it three years ago and somehow now it is damaged this is my dogwood uh, plant which was i can say um, uh, six feet height when i moved in and uh, there were two one like a stick and uh, with two branches this one and there is another one little bit of three feet away one more uh, but uh, the other one was uh, two three years i saw only stick no leaves so maybe that died so i removed that and this one was like i can say it was height up to here yeah so from the base 
from the base that much is uh, nearly six feet so above that whatever you are seeing those are the growth of in the next in the next seven years so if i can take you close you can see the blooms and in one video maybe i have said that initially the first three years i did not like the cream color bloom it has cream color bloom so i always i was attracted to the pink color and the coral color the other two colors that i know if there are more i don't know so so now uh, so the first three years i did not like the cream color um, i wanted the other two color preferably the um, coral color but with time I have lot of plants which blooms pink and then I got bored and then slowly I developed more interest in the cream color because that looks very pretty among other lot of the pink so that happened within me <laughs> my choice of color changed about this tree so um, that proves nothing is permanent we ourselves change our choice changes our interest changes with time we get bored with something so that is human behavior the human behavior i believe anyway so that just it is looking very pretty so at this stage i thought let me not forget to show you this beauty and under that like my triangle garden iris here also few few damaged um, leftover rhizome i just put it here um, two years ago so and the soil is not very good here so see how it is so when i when i planted these there were no leaves at all the first year leaves there was no leaves at all and last year maybe one tiny tiny leaf i saw and uh, you can see now also the leaves are tiny <laughs> but you can see last year 30 percent of this uh, these leaves i saw and this year it looks like it is growing so these are the rhizomes that i'm supposed to throw the conditions they were there was no hope that they can survive so um, my point what i am trying to make is um, if the rhizome is not good you just put it anywhere it may take two three years um, to grow properly but uh, don't throw them and um, you will be happy with the result and this is um, yellow uh, yellow color bloom uh, azalea so um, it is uh, going to be six eight feet i think when it will be mature but it was already a big inside in a big pot when i bought seeing that yellow which is very rare in our area um, I bought it and uh, it is expensive and now I see see the small small growth and I see um, this um, it looks like orange but it is yellow it's going to be yellow bloom so next to that is uh, this one uh, one day i told you this eonymus i one cutting i planted in a indoor that i planted here so and i think there is one bulb here i forgot what bulb um, some bulb i forgot if it is daffodil or something else some bulb i have and i surround with the stones to remember that i have planted something that is my sign next to that is uh, this one Oh God, again I am forgetting the exact name. But um, see the bloom, I want to show that they, they are having, see the birds, if you see, see the bird and see the bird. So it is going to, it is orange and red, red orange kind of, uh, I am not able to recall the name. This is vine. this plant i have seen a lot in india so in india we used to call now the odia name which we call in india that also it is not coming to my mouth 
see it is about to bloom now i came here under this giant tree behind that japanese maple and i was there i showed you that plant and then i came here so this is the chinese snow bulb hibernum according to the tag so according to the tag the flowers are supposed to look like this but the way i am seeing the board i do not think the flowers are going to be like that so let's wait little more i think this is some other variety where the center will be smaller bloom and the surrounding these 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 they are little bigger so this is also a pretty flower but what i'm saying is this flower may not be the same that the tag was and um, there were seven eight uh, viburnum this kind of viburnum plant where i bought and each of have had them the same tag so i don't know how it is okay let me still wait if i, I am wrong <laughs> and uh, just see the um, daffodil bloom how they are because now in the rain they are little bit damaged and their beautiful days are ending so in one whole year this is the days this one two weeks together i can think that uh, they bloom and they look very pretty but because they are big and um, multi-layered see they are big and multi-layered right so maybe they are heavy and most of them see that is bent broken i mean the stem the stem is broken see the stem is broken so but they are very pretty they are pretty big but now see and one last time let me show you this this is my limelight uh, hydrangea but I am here not to show you the limelight. I am here to show you this beauty. See, this is the iris. I don't remember the name now. <laughs> but this is the iris that I bought uh, from one of the nursery uh, near Boston. So, beautiful. next to that uh, iris uh, this is the mango salsa landscape rose so after trimming they are coming very good next i want to show you here so here see the peony looks very good now i don't remember what color it is one of my friend they went to a um, i think a flower uh, a flower shop or some no some flower fair or something and um, they are they bought a few bags of peony which are surprise they call it surprise peony means the color is not mentioned when it will bloom then only you can see so they they gifted me this one so i don't remember now i'm waiting for the bloom and now i think this year i can see there is a board i think this is a board this one is a board and that is a board so at least two i am seeing so why i came here is for this plant so this is a magenta color or pink color you can say um, crepe myrtle and crepe myrtle in our zone my zone is six b you can say so my zone is six b uh, here crepe myrtle hibiscus some hibiscus they are not hardy anyway so let's um, relating with hibiscus is wrong here so let me focus with crepe myrtle so the crepe myrtle according to my knowledge here they go dormant in the winter and they come out fresh from the um, uh, base they come out the branches come out fresh from the base uh, and the branches like the past four years 
um, nearly this is the fifth year so the past four years um, every time the branches came and in winter it completely died so this year i just did not get time to cut it and remove the branches uh, i just focused what is um, what is uh, um, what is needed immediately to be done so like that i was focusing on that so i was thinking because the crepe mortal uh, leaves so uh, much later nearly june in the june month of june or something thinking that i was ignoring this but yesterday when i was here i saw these leaves i saw these leaves see and i was so happy seeing that the branches is alive so i was thinking thank god i did not cut it or remove it for example see that see that branch that branch has no leaves so i was thinking like that and i thought in winter they 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 give a winter beauty they they look pretty this bloom thinking that i did not cut in winter but i was about to cut cut it in april just i did not get time to cut it and I am lucky. <laughs> so I was very happy to show you and share that, uh, you know, patience gives many times uh, big, big results. Here to show you this um, trumpet vine, I think you see this. The branches coming out, see. So, see the branches, see the branches. So, this is a flamenco red, flamenco red trumpet vine. The, the blooms are supposed to be like that, but so far I have not seen the bloom. And now I see all these branches, new, new branches. So, they look very good. See? So when I planted this is white uh, white crepe myrtle, white crepe myrtle five, five years ago. So one white and one magenta that I already showed you or pink I can say. So those it, it was in very big big pot and I remember maybe it was $60 each original price. So um, and because it is very rare in our area. Um, only that year I saw the crepe mortal. After that or before that I did not see crepe mortal plant um, being sold in our area, nearby area or nursery. So when I saw that, uh, I thought okay with time it will take time to become big. So I did not uh, wait for the price to decrease or anything and I just bought it. Because if I get it in cheaper price in some other area also, it is not easy to uh, bring in bring it home so thinking that um, I just bought these two and I planted so like I said like the other magenta each year I see they come from the base uh, and the um, previous branch is always dead so this is the first time that I saw the other plant also um, sowing new leaves means the branch is not dead uh, no, did not die in winter and uh, here also so seeing this i'm very happy so this is the white one and um, this white one like three years ago i thought it died when i did not see any th any branch coming out at that time i did not know it is taking a long time and uh, that's why i thought this uh, spot when i already had compost um, and good soil and i had a nice hole soft hole so that i don't have to dig anywhere else thinking that i planted this uh, vine this trumpet vine and then when i already planted because that i planted i believe in april and uh, in june i saw this white was alive i'm talking about three years ago so um, then i thought okay let it uh, let it grow and uh, that time i will make it as a support or whatever but uh, um, i did not think of uh, changing anything 
but anyway now when they are alive and when they are alive i'm happy because in our zone most of the time the winter kills many many plants so i'm happy with the result grangia looks good lot of new branches i see uh, just because i'm near to that uh, trumpet vine i'm just sowing little bit uh, again the crab apple then see this uh, bloom the lilac that is next to the um, new dawn climbing rose and then i am here to show you the um, 